all right you guys so it is time for another story time this one is called gray sky so i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of disclaimer and trigger warning um <clears throat> this story has to do with with the beginning of the story at least has to do with pregnancy loss um just to give that you know for a warning a uh, little announcement for a warning again um we're also going to be talking about this <laughs> some of my stories are going to go there we're going to be a little bit more adult so i would prefer if you are over 18 18 and plus for this story time now, i ain't gonna get raunchy you know but we're gonna go there um there girl <laughs> Blame it on alcohol. Exactly. <laughs> 21 and over. Ciao. So, um, um, other, other topics that I will be discussing within this series is infidelity, addiction, um, excuse me, gambling addiction, which is still addiction. Um, and so, yeah, y'all, this is called Gray Skies. So, this story centers around a young couple fairly young couple they're old enough to know better child we have Kendra and Lamont Kendra is 30 years old and Lamont is 34 35 we're gonna say he's 34 okay Kendra and Lamont have been married now for eight years they met in college um Kendra was uh very taken aback by Lamont now Lamont was a type of person to where when she first met him see she wasn't sure if he was someone that she would necessarily see herself marrying because Lamont was known for being a player he was a basketball player while in college um he went to school on a full scholarship this is out in Chicago they went to school out in Chicago okay and that's where they lived at for the longest before moving to Oklahoma y'all what's going on with my hair hold on baby let me make sure my hair looks okay Kendra was introduced to him at a frat party and she was like you know when she first saw him she's like I am not interested at all he's a player he got community peen <laughs> He got community dingaling. No, girl, no. I want someone who is not like that and eventually will want to settle down. And her best friend was like, girl, you always talking about getting married. We in college. We at a frat party. Live a little. Kendra was a quote unquote good girl. You know, she went to church every Sunday and she didn't drink, she didn't smoke. And she was in school for interior interior design. Okay. She always wanted to move to the bigger cities, like up on the East Coast and be a designer for the celebrities or even out in LA we ain't gonna go to LA girl because Powell may be there <laughs> anyway y'all so they met in college and he like I said we're gonna go fast forward and they met in college she fell in love with him and that be it so one other thing I want to mention in their life before they get got married he let her know that he was all about building wealth which is why he wanted to be a stockbroker and that's what he eventually did he became a stockbroker for one of the major firms out in Chicago and he made a lot of money that is until he started gambling um lamont used to do a little bit of gambling online while in college but it went another level when he started to making money big money he was making good money as a stockbroker and also <clears throat> uh kendra her hopes and dreams were to eventually start her own design company have her own company where she was designing parties and eventually houses and stuff like that you know what i mean um so this is how Kendra found out found out about Lamont's addiction and how bad it had gotten. She's at work and and she, again she's at work and all of a sudden she sees someone getting her car together and she's like what is going on and, and at the time she dropped she drove a newer BMW and she went outside because one of the co-workers was like um Kendra you may not want to go outside there's someone putting your your car up to get towed and she's like no that doesn't sound right so Kendra goes outside and sure enough there's someone putting her and the man was like ma'am um I've been tasked to come out here to pick up your car for non-payment she's like non-payment 
that doesn't sound right. Let me go ahead and, and, and put my get my husband on the um on the phone. Did leave my car alone. He said, ma'am, I have a job to do. So he went ahead and towed her car. Kendra was devastated and shocked. She's like, this has to be wrong. So she gives Lamont a call at work and he's busy. Busy, right? So he said, We'll talk about it later, baby. We'll talk about it. I'll 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 figure it out, right? She gets home and she's like, What's going on, Lamont? Why is my why was my car being towed? <clears throat> and he's like, you know. It has to be a misunderstanding. I'll get it figured out. So Lamont basically told her he would figure it out. But really, he didn't. Kendra soon found out that Lamont was losing a lot of money. They were getting further and further into credit card credit card debt. They lost all of their vehicles. They had to downsize to a smaller home. And she felt a certain type of way because he lied to her about it. And he's like, I'm so sorry, you know. <clears throat> I didn't know it would it would get this bad and she's like well how bad is it how bad are we and he finally admitted that they were a quarter of a million in debt and she was like I cannot believe this on top of that they were having infertility issues Kendra was fairly young when girl what the heck is going on I see my child out here playing these loud ass kids Child, this is my child. <laughs> uh, real quick, in between it, this is so funny. My neighbor's grandbaby is over here so much that my neighbor was like, why does she have a southern accent? I was like, honey, I don't know why your grandbaby have a southern accent. I don't know where she could get it from. <laughs> in between all of this, they were trying to have um, a baby. They were trying to get pregnant. And so um, Kendra at the time was 26 years old and she was fine. You know, she should be able to, you know, get pregnant. So they went to go check, get checked out. Lamont sperm count was fine. There was nothing wrong with him. And what the doctors, uh, infertility specialists were thinking was that she was just so stressed and stressed out. And so um, they tried month after month after month. Finally, after almost a year of trying to get pregnant, Kendra gets pregnant. She's ecstatic. Unfortunately, within the second month, she loses her baby. She is devastated. During this time, Lamont is steadily, um, they're going into debt. He also um, ended up having an affair with someone that he met online. And he met this person in one of the gambling sites and they started talking. And this was like an ongoing affair for like a couple of months. And so he ended up admitting it to Kendra because um, she she was in the dark. She was in the dark on a lot of stuff, y'all. And so because he just kept it a secret. He didn't he Lamont was a, or is a type of man to where he feels like he can fix it. But instead of fixing things, he makes it work. So, you know, one of those type of people, instead of coming clean, he lies to try to cover it because he wants to keep up the appearances that everything's fine. Everything is OK. By the time she found out they were so far down the hole, there was no lying. There was no way he could lie his way out of this. OK, so he had to come clean. They ended up going to therapy. Okay, they they <laughs> did like a year long worth of therapy, and because uh, Kendra was done, she was ready to go. This is Chris again, my neighbor Chris with his loud ass car. Hold on, y'all. She was like, I'm over it. She was ready to move in with her parents and be done after the loss of their baby. So that happened they went through a year of therapy he begged and pleaded with her said that things will be okay they went through the therapy now we are three or four years after all of that has happened and lamont went to um they did couples therapy but he also got um help for his addiction for his gambling addiction now Lamont has this great idea of moving to Oklahoma to um, his family's old farmhouse and to start his own stock company there, whatever you want to call it, you know, because it's a small town and he figured he could get some clients in the other neighboring cities and he can go into business for himself. And so finally she agreed to do it. So they're making plans to go and um, this is when Kendra notices that something 
off with her body. And so after um, taking four or five pregnancy tests <laughs> and finally making an appointment to see her doctor, she finds out that she is pregnant. She's ecstatic but she's also nervous because she's considered high risk. Not only that, but they're in the um, middle of considering a move to another city and that's stressful, okay? So she shares the good news with her husband Lamont and he's ecstatic, he's happy, he's always wanted to be a father, well overdue. So at this point, you guys, this makes Kendra 30 years old and Lamont, like I said, is 33, 34 years old, okay? So they decide to hold off to doing anything until she gets past the 14, 16 weeks, okay? And so once they're past that, they're gonna pack everything up and move out to Oklahoma, okay? So she get past it, y'all. She gets up to 16 weeks, and that's when they decide to move down to this small little time in Oklahoma. Now, Lamont has family that lives in this city. He has his um, uncle and his aunt, and he has a couple of cousins that live out there, or country people, a couple of cousins, like four or five cousins that live out there, right? So they go ahead and um, they have already seen the house. You know, they already flew out there previously to see what it looks like. And Kendra thinks it's beautiful. It sits on an acre of land and she has so many great ideas on how to decorate the house. Um, it has a beautiful wraparound porch and all of that. So let me give y'all descriptions of what these people look like, okay? So Kendra stands at about five foot six. Um, she wears a size 12, so mama, She's plush, okay? She... <laughs> She's fair-skinned and she has dimples, okay? Lamont is chocolate. And Lamont is tall because he used to play basketball. He stands at about 6'5", actually. That's how tall he is. Um, And he has broad shoulders. And he is athletic built, of course. So Lamont looks like, y'all, what is that basketball player? Let me tell you who Lamont looks like. He looks like that ba basketball player, that song on the mask, on, on the mask singer. Let me look up his name, y'all. And um, Kendra looks like uh, Blue Contrail. <laughs> First skin in, uh, person, Blue Contrail. Ciao. Victor... Olo Depot. I know I am really jacking up his name. So that's what he looks like, y'all. Now nah, he he's not cute, but he's not, you know what I mean? Like, y'all look, not everybody in these stories gonna be fine as hell. Not everybody gonna be a Paul. It just is what it is. <laughs> Some people are gonna be average looking, and Lamont is average looking. Now Kendra is pretty as hell. She's very, very pretty with those cute, especially with those dimples. She's cute, okay? So, all right, y'all. So Kendra's pregnant. They have decided to move down to Oklahoma. So they are laying in bed and this is the night before um, they are moving or the night before they're leaving. And so she's tossing and turning in bed. Lamont rolls over and he's like, are you okay? Is, is, it, is it the baby? She's like, no, it, it's not. It's not that. I'm just, I'm a little bit nervous. And he says, I know you are, honey, but look, I promise you, once we get there, you're going to love it. You know, my aunt is great and she could show you around town, you know, possibly introduce you to some new clients and you can get started work there. And she's like, yeah, but I'm not sure if I want to dive into work right now, especially with the move and being pregnant. I just really want to take my time. And he's like, yeah, it's, it's whatever you want to do, honey. Just I don't want you to have to worry about anything. And that's when he squeezes her and they fall asleep, okay? So, y'all, they end up moving and everything goes great as planned. It's a fairly large farmhouse. And like I said, it sits on an acre of land. So, Lamont knows a little bit about farming and um, he knows how to get around and do some stuff. But Kendra can't really help him as much, much because, again, she's pregnant and, you know, with her being high risk, she just needs to be careful. So, they need to hire some help. To help around, not only with helping them around the house, you know, to get things settled in, in but also around the farm. Because the farm is old. Lamont goes ahead and starts asking people around. And that's when his aunt was like, I have my friend's nephew to help you. He's really good with stuff like this. Now, his aunt, you guys, is crotchety. She ain't one of those nice southern aunts. She's always suspicious of everyone. She judges everybody. She, don't, she doesn't care who it is. So his aunt is, what, what could be a good crotchety petty name for an older aunt? For the old name, Aunt Ella. 
Aunt Ella. So Aunt Ella is not your traditional, or maybe it is a traditional, you judging people. Yeah, that's part of her. Um, She's passive aggressive. And, but she absolutely adores Kendra. And she loves the fact that they have moved there and that Lamont is back. Now, Aunt Ella helped to raise Lamont. Her, her sister passed away with cancer. Now, he never knew his father. And so his mom, uh, he's, he was always with his mother. And she unfortunately passed away from breast cancer at a young age, okay? It was always Aunt Ella. And so Aunt Ella was, is basically his mother, okay? So she's like, oh, Baby, you don't have to worry about that. I can go ahead and get my friend's nephew to help you. Byron, he's real good with stuff around here. He helps a lot of other people around in this town. So I'll have her to give you a call to give you his number, okay? So he's like, cool. So they're getting settled in. And this is now the first week that they're there. So Kendra's in the, in the kitchen. She's unpacking. And that's when she sits down and she's rubbing her bait and she's rubbing her belly and she's like, "Ugh, I'm just so tired." She's like, "You know what? I don't think I can cook anything tonight, honey." He's like, "Don't worry about that. We can order a pizza. We can order in, and we'll be fine." So they order a pizza. So for the first time in a long time, Kendra is absolutely happy. Yes, she's ne nervous, but she's pregnant with their first baby. And they don't know the sex, by the way, you guys. And so one of the things she definitely wants to do once they can get this person to come in and help them un unpack and with the farm is that she wants to get started on decorating the house and definitely decorating the nursery. She cannot wait to go get fabrics and do all of that. Okay, you guys. So a couple of days go by and Kendra now has to go to the grocery store. So she let Lamont know who's in his office working on something that she's going to head to the grocery store and pick up a couple of groceries. Now, um, they have hired the man Byron and so they're very happy about that. So She's on her way to the grocery store, girl, like a Piggly Wiggly, so I don't know what they have. <laughs> a little Piggly Wiggly grocery store, and she, say, she doesn't get a cart or a buggy. She gets one of the um, handheld, you know, which she probably shouldn't do, but she only has a few things to get, so she's okay, right? She's walking around, looking at some stuff, and when she turns the corner, she bumps into someone, and of course, the person in front of her is not watching either, so she runs into this person, doesn't even see who it is. The items in her little carrying cart come flying out onto the ground. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So she gets down and she gets it and she hears the, the person that she ran into who is a, a man. Says, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me help you with that. No, 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 no. Let me help you. So he reaches down to get it. So she, her head is down. So she's picking all her stuff up, you know, like a, a couple of things. And she gets up. She's like, it's okay. I, I just, I'm so sorry. I... And when she gets up, y'all, she stops talking full stop because this young man is beautiful. This guy looks like the actor that plays on um, Queen Sugar. What's his name? Kofi. Yeah, a Lamont is chocolate, but this man is blue black and he is beautiful. Look like he has been sculpted by guys, honey. He's like, yeah, no, no, you okay? I, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I didn't see you. She's like, no, I, it's okay. I should be watching where I'm going considering I'm walking two people here. He said, yeah, yeah, I see that. So when are you due? And he smiles and girl, beautiful white teeth. She's like, I'm actually doing May. He said, oh, I'm May, baby. And she's like, yeah. So he's like, I don't think I've ever seen you in town before. She's like, how do you know? He's like, I think I would have noticed someone like you. And that's when she looked at him. He said, well, what I'm trying to say is that I would have noticed you with your little belly. <laughs> she kind of laughed and she's like, well, actually my husband and I just moved here from Chicago. He's like, oh, that's nice. Well, I won't hold you up any longer. Take care, okay? Now, I'm, I'm sorry again. So she's like, okay. And so he walks off. She goes, y'all, she's like, Whoo. she walks off and y'all, she says to herself, oh, Lord have mercy. Honey, she doesn't know if, the, if it's the pregnancy hormone, hormones or what. So she gets her stuff and she checks out. As she's checking out, she can see the guy that she ran into um, checking out too. He has broad shoulders. Now, he's a little bit shorter than Lamont. Like, Lamont's 6'5". This guy's probably 6'2", six, 6'3", six, okay? But he looks like Kofi. <laughs> y'all, what is he? Is he... I can feel it. I can feel the rice. I can feel the cheekbones. He's Ghana. He's from, he's Ghanaian. Ghanaian. He's from Ghana. So, um, 
Kendra's feeling a little flushed, so she needs to take her ass home. So she gets her little bitty groceries and she goes home. And that's when, you know, little mama's like, hey, honey, how's, how was the grocery store? Oh, it was fine. I got everything. And she said, it's a cute little grocery store. He said, oh, okay. Well, just to let you know, um, I got a call from the guy that my aunt told me to um, consider her. And he should be here within the next hour. So she got, okay, that's cool. So, you know, Kendra starts putting the stuff away. And that's when she heads upstairs and she starts unboxing. And then, uh, sure enough, within an hour, she could hear voices downstairs. When she makes her way downstairs and she walks into the living room, that's when she hears her husband introduce her and say, well, hey, here's my beautiful wife right now. Um, Kendra, I want you to meet Byron. Byron, this is Kendra. And Byron turns around and Kendra is a little shocked. It is the handsome young man that she met at the grocery store. All right, y'all, that's part one of Grace Scott.